a Carnegie Institution for Science audio news release. Thursday, November 13th, 2008, Corralling the Carbon Cycle. A long-standing problem for scientists is measuring the amount of carbon dioxide involved in plant respiration. Scientist Joe Berry from Carnegie's Department of Global Ecology explains that plants in essence breathe in carbon dioxide and exhale oxygen, but they also produce carbon dioxide. Although scientists previously have been able to measure net changes in carbon dioxide, they have not been able to determine accurately how much of the carbon dioxide was produced by the plants themselves. Now, scientists may have overcome a major hurdle to calculating how much carbon dioxide is absorbed and released by plants. This information is vital for understanding how the biosphere responds to stress and may also help determine the amount of carbon that can be safely emitted by human activities. Understanding photosynthesis climate feedback is key to understanding how climate change may affect the natural processes that absorb human-made carbon emissions. Previous laboratory research showed that carbonyl sulfide is taken up in step with photosynthesis, but unlike carbon dioxide, there is no emission of carbonyl sulfide from plants. The researchers compared atmospheric measurements of carbonyl sulfide over North America during the growing season with two simulations of an atmospheric transport model. The airborne observations were from the Intercontinental Chemical Transport Experiment North America. They also measured carbon dioxide. Researchers included the new inputs and simulations that consider plant uptake, soil and ocean absorption, human-made emissions, and how the gases flow through these systems. The simulation showed that plant uptake was much larger than other sources and sinks during the growing season, a fact important in using the compound to trace photosynthesis. Joe Berry comments that this study indicates that an analysis of atmospheric carbonyl sulfide measurements may be used to quantify the carbon release during plant respiration. For years, this information has been a key missing piece in understanding the carbon cycle. The research is published in the November 14 issue of Science. For more information, see our website at www.ciw.edu. This is John Strom for the Carnegie Institution.